Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Lignus Monster. Today we do have a Star Wars Black Series news video to get into. If you are new to the channel and you don't want to miss out on any Star Wars Black Series news, make sure you go down, hit the like button, and subscribe, because we do have a lot of very exciting news to go over today. Anyway, this is our weekly news series, where we do try to cover everything that has happened in the Star Wars Black Series and Vintage Collection in the last week, whether it is really big news, or some news that didn't quite make headlines, I do think that everything is worth talking about, so I try to cover everything in these videos. And real quick before you get into it, we actually did hit 8.5k subs last week, which is super incredible. So thank you guys so much for all of the recent support. I do really, really appreciate it. It means the world to me. We are actually doing a Captain Rex Black Series giveaway for hitting 8,500 subs. So if you do want to enter in that, that video is now live. And there is still 8 days left to enter before I pick the winner. So if you do want to enter, make sure you go check out that video. It is linked in the description and pinned in the card. But you do have to be sub to the channel to enter. So make sure you go down and hit that sub button so you don't miss out and then go check out that giveaway video. All you have to do is leave a comment on that giveaway video to enter. Anyway, on to the video. First up in the news, we do have a story from Star Wars Collector. Here he does have two orders for the Star Wars Black Series Walmart exclusive deluxe Tython Jedi Ruins Boba Fett. That is a mouthful, but uh, he does have two separate pre-orders for these characters, and uh, one was placed in March of 2022. That was when the f uh, figure actually first went up for pre-order. I actually did pre-order it at this time as well, back in March of 2022. And uh, since then, the release date, expected release date, was always February of 2023, a full 11 months for this pre-order, which is absolutely crazy, to be honest. But that's always been the thing. But back in last October, they actually did go go ahead and put it back up for pre-order because I guess they found more stock or something, but they did go ahead and put it back up for pre-order, which is pretty common. A lot of pre-orders do tend to go back in stock, so that, that was pretty normal. But uh, according to this uh, this information here from Star Wars Collector, it does look like his pre-order from October is actually shipping today, and we actually do have a photo, so I'll throw up the photo of his uh, order. He did get it and he did receive it, but, um, but yeah, it's just really weird that he ordered this uh, one originally in March, and that one's not supposed to ship until February, but the one that he pre-ordered in October is already shipped, and he's already gotten it. And so this just really infuriates me, and a lot of companies tend to do it sometimes, but Walmart is no exception. They tend to do it a lot, is whenever they put a pre-order back up, and then the people who pre-ordered it last get their pre-orders first. And that is just ridiculous to me. I mean, I pre-ordered I pre this figure in March. Everybody who originally pre-ordered this figure should be getting the figure first. If you pre-ordered this figure in October, that's great, but your pre-order shouldn't be fulfilled until after all of the March orders are fulfilled. I think that's just basic etiquette. And just like, again, if if this thing ships in, in January for everyone who originally pre-ordered this, like, when the second time it went up, why would I ever originally pre-order this in March? Why would I ever pre-order this in March if I could just get it sooner by pre-ordering it later? Like, it just completely ruins the point of a pre-order for me, and this is really ridiculous. So, I mean, I guess congrats to everybody who did get this figure for pre-ordering it in October, but why do I have to wait 11 months when the people who pre-ordered it in October get to wait four months like it's just ridiculous to me and uh, it shouldn't be a thing you should chip out the pre-orders to the people who ordered it first or there is no point of pre-ordering to begin with end of rant we do have a few photos from this specific Instagram account with the brand new Mara Jade figure out of the box. I do apologize, I don't really know how to pronounce the name, but those uh, the, the, the name is up on the screen. But we do have Mara Jade out of the box, and she looks really, really good. I do have to say, I love the pinless look that she's rocking right now, and the photo reel looks incredible. This is based off a comic, so there's not like an actual actress that this is based off of, but the, like, the shiny face syndrome looks almost just invisible in this photo like it looks incredible and yeah overall it just looks amazing this one came out a lot better than I thought it was going to I love the black bodysuit with like this scarf it's looking really cool and then of course the brown belt separates the whole outfit looking really really nice and it's just a really really cool looking Mara Jade figure I don't know what else to say about it it just looks incredible also does come with a blaster as well that is on the holster I believe but yeah, really cool looking figure, one I'm really excited about. She also does have a uh, brand new lightsaber hilt as well, so brand new mold for that. Most figures with different lightsaber hilts do come with brand new molds, so this is nice to get a new mold for. And overall, she just looks incredible, so this is one I definitely want to pick up. According to Yakface, there are also... We're going to restart that. 
According to Yakface, there are also three brand new Target exclusive Black Series figures that are rumored to be coming here in the near future. All of them are $27.99, which means that they are the standard Target exclusive deluxe price. And they all follow this uh, like same theme with warm, cold, and ice with this temperature theme. So very interesting to see that. Um, I know some people were complaining like, oh, there's a price increase, but this is actually pretty standard for the Black Series now. All of the Andor exclusives did have that $27.99 price, so this isn't really a price increase. This is uh, pretty standard as of the moment. But uh, yeah, according to Yakface, he does speculate that um, all of these will probably end up being Mandalorian characters, uh, just judging by the fact that the names are all the same, they've got to be pretty similar. And I think that's possible, I think it's pretty true, I'm sure Yakface probably has a better judgment than I have when it comes to this. But, um, I'm just thinking of the possibilities. We've never really had a full Mandalorian target exclusive wave before. We've had Clone Wars, we've had, uh, credit collection we've had a uh, carbonized but we've never had a mandalorian specifically so that's why i kind of doubt that this is mandalorian because most of the time they try to pa uh, pack those into like mainline waves so we'll have to wait and see but um if it is mandalorian i do think it could be another credit collection wave or even a carbonized wave um or if you really think about it it could be the rumored uh hologram wave that uh, is coming out here in 2023, or at least is rumored to be coming out in 2023, so we'll have to wait and see, but if it's not Mandalorian, I think that there's a great chance it could be Clone Wars. We've seen a lot of those, uh, like, exclusive Clone Wars waves like this, and so uh, with the 20th anniversary of Clone Wars here in 2023, I expect to see some more Clone Wars figures, and a Clone Wars exclusive wave like this makes sense, so we'll have to wait and see, but I just have a hard time seeing, like, there being a standard Mandalorian exclusive wave without it being some kind of gimmicky thing. Next up, there are also two Vintage Collection Deluxe figures that have been rumored by Yakface. Uh, first up, one is called Bethany, and then the other one is actually codenamed Baytown. So, pretty interesting. Both of these are rumored to be Deluxe. One of them is rumored to be a Black or Santon figure, and the other one is rumored to be from some Disney Plus show, so we don't really know what show it's from. But, pretty interesting rumor report. I don't normally cover TVC, but I thought this was pretty cool, so I thought I would cover it. But, uh, yeah, we don't know if this is exclusive to anywhere. We just know that these are deluxe figures, and one of them is probably going to be Black or Satan. So, keep an eye out for that, but uh, that's probably going to do it for this video. So, if you did enjoy, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any Star Wars The Black Series news. Make sure to also hit that sub button so you don't miss out on the 8.5K giveaway, which is live on the channel right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video.